All right, we've snapped to a front view, which I've zoomed in a little bit here using background. So I've adjusted the scale to two and given it some X and Y offset. So we're only looking at the right hand side of the plane. This is going to zoom things in just a little bit and make it a touch easier for us to line up things to the plan form. So let's start with our wing. We know that we need to shift this down a little bit to line up with this plan form. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's go ahead and choose both of these and no show these components so that they are hidden and we can see only the wing on top of this plan form. Let's bring this up a little bit more to about here. And from there, we can go ahead and start talking about adding dihedral and what have you to the wing. Now we can already tell that we don't have enough thickness down at the root and we certainly need a bit of dihedral. So let's start with going to section and adding a little bit of dihedral. And let's start with something like five degrees maybe and then shift this in Z. That's kind of getting there. Let's come out to section two and give it some dihedral and see if maybe that helps a little bit. Again, this is round about five, maybe five and a half really. And that's not too bad. So we also need to go in and adjust the foils and place those, which we'll do that here in just a minute. For right now, I wanna to jump to the horizontal tail and we are gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring this up, we're gonna show this component, and we are also going to give it some dihedral. So that was a bit much. We're probably looking somewhere in the neighborhood of about seven degrees. That's not too bad. So that is how you can use the front view, adjust your plan form, and start to move things around. What we're gonna do here very quickly is go to the wing, and go to our airfoil. So remember, we've got two sections, so we have the zero, one, and two airfoil stations that we can control. In this case, we're back here on the route. Now, you can leave it at a four series, or you can make it a six series. Any one of these types that are available to you for cross sections in VSP. But as it happens, if you choose airfoil file, and then go inside your VSP path, go to airfoil, there are already Boeing 37-like airfoils preloaded for you. So these would, you know, be set up for a transport aircraft. A here designates the route. B is a bit of an outboard section. C, it would be about a mid-span. And then D is out here at the tip. So the sections we are going to use are going to be A, C, and D, since we're only dealing with the route and then these mid and tip sections. Let's set that to A. Notice how that swole up to the thickness that it needed and everything is lining up much better now. Let's go to section one. Again, change that to airfoil file, read file, and choose C. That's getting right. And then let's go out to the tip. We're gonna again change this to airfoil file, read file, and we're gonna choose D. Now, we can do the same type of thing for say the horizontal tail. But instead of reading in an airfoil file, let's just adjust our thickness. So that's out at the tip, because we're at section one here. Come back to the root. We're gonna add some thickness. And I'll bet you that that's somewhere a bit closer to say a 17%, 0.17. And out at the tip, we're probably something a bit closer to say, 15 maybe. So again, we have to reposition this and adjust the dihedral a little bit to get it lined exactly right. If we show the vertical, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Let's adjust our thickness to about there, maybe 13%. And out at the tip, let's bump this up so that it is the appropriate thickness, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 to 30% for this smaller section that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and push some of these sliders around, get everything to fit just right, but that's how you can change these parameters and how you can adjust it to match a front view plan form, and then we're gonna move on to the next steps.